Hey, hey, pretty girls. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my favorite topic as I talk about in pretty much all of my videos and that is all about my tea. I am obsessed with tea. If you watch any of my videos, you know I always have a mug of tea in my hand and my absolute favorite brand is Teopia. Most of my teas come from Teopia and I'll insert some footage of my tea cupboard at my in-laws and my tea cupboard uh, at my parents' house. So this video is going to have a couple of different parts. One, I'm going to talk very, very briefly about the benefits to drinking tea. Most of you already know what the benefits are. Two, I'm going to talk about why I tend to lean towards loose leaf teas over bagged teas. And then number three, I'm going to talk about my top three favorite teas of all time, as well as my three favorite teas now, sort of during the winter season, Christmas time, really spicy, earthy, warm flavors. First, really, really briefly, let's talk about the health benefits to tea. It has all sorts of polyphenols. It has flavonoids, it has antioxidants, it has catechins, all these different things that help to eliminate really harmful free radicals from the body, which in turn helps you uh, protect you against cancer and all sorts of various cardiovascular diseases. It helps in uh, the maintenance of weight loss. And it's very good for rehydrating yourself. It's just a ton of benefits to drinking tea. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about why I tend to lean towards the loose leaf over the bagged variety. I'm gonna start out by saying that loose leaf tea provides so many more health benefits than the bagged variety. That's not to say as a generalization that all bagged teas are bad, but of the ones that are typically sold at the supermarket, grocery store, drug stores, all those kinds of things in mass quantities, they don't tend to be as good for you. And here's why. The primary reason is because of the size of the leaves. Typically when you buy loose leaf tea, the size of the leaves are larger. They're kept in their original form. So all of the essential oils and chemicals that are found in the leaves that are healthy and good for you and the reason why you drink the tea in the first place are still intact. As soon as you start bagging them, you start crumbling all of the loose teas pieces up and all of the essential oils and chemicals are evaporated. These little tiny bits that they put into the bags are called fannings and a lot of times from the research that I've done the fannings come from the bottom of the bags, the leftovers of processing, all that kind of stuff. The other reason is due to... Hello? The other reason is circulation through the water is key to having a good cup of tea. So the loose leaf variety it has space to unfurl and expand, whereas in the loose leaf variety there's minimal space for it to actually move around. Okay, so now let's go on to the fun stuff, talking about my favorite flavors of tea. Now I'm going to include not only my favorite flavors, but I'm also going to include the price because I think a lot of people are under the assumption that it's a lot more expensive than bagged variety. Now, albeit it is more expensive, but you're getting a lot more health benefits out of it. So you're getting a lot more bang for your buck. So let's start with my wintry favorites. These flavors really remind me of Christmas. The first one that I'm going to share with you guys I've actually had in another video, and it is the Masala Chai. And this is a black tea, and this really honestly, it just smells like Christmas to me. What's included in here is black tea, ginger, cloves, cardamom, and cinnamon. I wish I had smell television so that you guys can smell this because it's so phenomenal. I just want to eat it. Nom, nom, nom. Hello? There's a bunch of different ways that you can actually enjoy this. One being obviously by itself with uh, milk and sugar or you could even make a latte out of it which I noticed because in their store they serve all sorts of different lattes now and I was like, oh, that'd be such a good idea, right? Like, have some foam milk over this bad boy. Oh. So I'm gonna have to try that because that sounds amazing. And fun fact, the masala chai is actually a really good tea for baking. Now, I've never done this myself, but I've heard that there's a lot of really good recipes out there. So I want to see what your guys' interest would be in me creating a baking video. Once I've experimented with a couple of different recipes, if that's something that you guys would be interested in seeing, let me know and I can uh, go ahead and start experimenting with making cupcakes. The things that I do for you guys. The next one that I want to talk about is the Milk Oolong. And oolong is kind of in terms of flavor between a green tea and a black tea. The reason that I like this one in particular is it has a very sort of creamy smell to it if that makes any sense. It smells very earthy but it has sort of like a, a milkiness, creaminess to it that I really enjoy. The final tea on my list of teas that I've been loving for winter is part of their holiday collection. They have three different teas. They have a black, a green, and a white tea. 
I picked up the white tea in particular. I just love the smell of it. It's very Christmassy, and um, I'll show you the little surprise inside, which I wasn't expecting, and it's actually really cute. This tea contains white tea, star anise, cinnamon, cloves, almond leaves, currants, red pepper, safflower, and cherry bits, and silver pearls. So if you wanted to, this is actually a very pretty tea, so if you wanted to follow some of the things I talked about in my um, DIY Christmas gifts video, you could wrap up some of this and it looks really, really pretty. Now, uh, my favorite flavors of tea of all time. These are definitely the top three. Obviously, I'm, con I'm continuously going to Teopia and discovering new flavors, so I can do specific tea videos for each season or feature a tea in my monthly favorites if that's something you guys would like. I don't know. It's up to you. Let me know in the comments if that's something you guys want to see. But anyway, the first tea I want to talk about is the one that kind of started my obsession with Teopia, which is the Mojito Raspberry Mint Tea. Now, for those of you that don't know, I started out buying Teopia two years ago, and I purchased it for my dad for Christmas because we're a very tea-loving family, both my in-laws and my, my own family. There is always hot water in the kettle at all times, without fail. And what's contained in this tea is pear bits, hibiscus, lemongrass, raspberry bits, and peppermint. And it's a very refreshing fruit blend tea. And I just really enjoy it. I have it before bed usually. Next is my tea that was my favorite for November. If you guys watch my November favorites video, I talked about this tea at length because I'm obsessed with it right now. And it's the Goji Green Green Tea. And it is so unbelievably good smelling. So my sister-in-law does not like tea at all. Not a fan. But she will go into the kitchen and just smell this tea because it smells so amazing. Like I can't, I can't even, like you guys just need to go to the store and smell it. It's just phenomenal. It just smells amazing. So it contains organic sencha shokai style, which is a very, very high quality Chinese green tea. Goji berries, uh, shisandra berries, pomegranate flower blossoms, and strawberry aroma. I cannot recommend this tea more to you like you need to go to the store right now and smell this tea and tell me if you love it as much as I do and then the last but definitely not the least uh, favorite tea of all time thus far is the peaches and cream oolong and I'm a big fan of peaches like I love peaches in the summertime it's just unfortunate because Canada has about a day when they're really good other than that they kind of Eh. But peaches and cream, anything will always catch my attention, and this one was absolutely no exception. I have hair in my mouth. This contains high-grade Chinese oolong with papaya pieces, peach pieces, pomegranate flowers, safflower, and natural aroma. This has the same sort of earthiness that a oolong tea has, but it has that sort of peachy freshness underlay to it, or overlay? Underlay? Underlay? That doesn't make any sense. What's an underlay? So the great thing actually about these packages in particular is that they list all of the brewing instructions right on the packages so you don't have to remember them, which is so annoying. I brew all of the tea using their little infusers that they have, which are about $5, I think. I actually have mojito raspberry mint in here right now, but it just like hooks onto the side like that and it's really... It's like meshy and easy to clean. I just put it on the little tray that comes with the Teopia Tea Master. So I just, that's supposed to like leave it like that so it doesn't drip, but I find this doesn't drip very much. So what I do is I just, after I steep something, I just leave it on here. And for those of you wondering how on earth this works, basically what you do is you throw all the tea that you need into this and it comes in a bigger size too, I think. You let it steep for the amount of time that you need to. And then what you do, this pushes up like that and then the liquid comes out the bottom like it just did all over me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some ideas for teas that you guys want to try. Uh, let me know if you've tried any of the flavors of teas that I mentioned, if you like them, what your favorite tea is, what your favorite tea brand is, uh, any teas that you recommend that I should go and check out and let me know if you guys want me to do a baking video for the tea. Don't forget to like this video and uh, subscribe if you haven't already and I will talk to you all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah.